Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing accepting every trades with all time nicks. Now, it's not actually the all time nicks because we do not have Bernard King. Because for some reason he's in my team, but he's not in my GM or my league. Fucking yeah, GG 2K. The uh, yeah, for some reason that's a thing. You can use a you can use a, a player in one mode, but not use him in the other. 2K is the only company of a sports game I think where that is possible. So yeah, oh, we still have. Uh, Walt Frazier and Patrick Ewing, and obviously Mello, Jerry Lucas, Dave DeBouchier, whose face is just on point. We have Willis Reed, Kristaps, uh, because, well, you know, may as well. <laughs> Earl Monroe, John Starks, Charles Oakley, Bill Bradley, Derek Harper, Dick Barnett, and Tyson Chandler. So, pretty old roster, not gonna lie. Um, but, what you gonna do? Alright, so. Everything is on. Um, right, let me go to my league automation. Let me just check the trades are done by me. Yes, they are. All right, so I'll just simulate it until I get a trade, and then I shall see you guys. Well, when we get a trade. So we have our first trade that I am not ready. All right, no, okay, I fucked that up big time. So we have our first trade that I am already not a fan of. Steven Adams for Kristaps Porzingis. And we also get a first round unprotected pick from the OKC. I do not like that trade one bit. Because um, you guys know how much I love Chris Stapps, But now we traded our arguably our best, going to be our best power forward. We traded him for another center where, where our best position is a center. So not the biggest fan of that, but what, whatever. <laughs> So we have another trade that I just do not like. We're getting rid of Jerry Lucas for Jay Crowder and Amir Johnson. We're 98 million under the cap. I'm not going to be able to do anything in free agency. So we're having another trade. I'm not really the biggest fan of this trade, but I guess we could use another shooting guard. We're getting rid of Willis Reed and Bill Bradley for Matt, for Delhi and Chris Middleton. We're <laughs> Let's have a look at this roster. I mean, the roster is pretty. Look at that starting five. It's pretty good. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we have a lot of reading in this trade. We have. Let's have a look. We're getting we're getting rid of Dave Debussier for Taj Gibson already. I hate that. And we're getting a second round swap worse with the Knicks for a top ten protect protected Sacramento pick fucking sure <laughs> that, that trade just look that trade just look AIDS <laughs> all right normally I would be uh, I would be pretty okay with this trade but considering our best player is a fucking center and we're getting Dwight and we're losing another point guard and John starts I'm not really the biggest fan of this trade especially because of his uh, Especially because of his contract. Alright, so now Patrick Ewing is right. Yo, look at that for a. <laughs> Dwight looks scared. He's like, oh shit, it's Patrick Ewing. Uh, <laughs> I, that's probably my favorite uh, picture. Alright, so we're getting rid of Charles Oakley for PJ Tucker. I mean, I'm, eh, well, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> So we're getting rid of Dick Barnett as well as a swap worst pick with the Cavs for Bojan Bogdanovic. I mean, he's a decent small forward. He can shoot, so sure. <laughs> so we're getting rid of a first round. No, we're getting rid of Steven Adams for a top five protected Bucks pick as well as Tony Snell. Uh, nope. <laughs> Alright, uh, so Patrick Ewing's still undecided about his contract extension. To be honest, I really doubt me actually getting that. Let me just go on to player contract. Not much we spent. Eh, we could. To be honest, we could probably pull it off. <laughs> eh, we could be okay. It all just depends on 
And if he comes with, and if he actually, all right, so we're getting rid of Derek Harper for Alonzo Guy as well as a second round pick. This trade is just, I mean, we're getting rid of a lot of cap. So, I mean, I guess that's okay, I guess. So we're getting rid of Jay Crowder and the Mayor Johnson for Yusuf Nurkic and Wilson Chandler. So I'm not, I do not like this trade what's one bit. <laughs> So it's about time we're getting rid of Walt Frazier, it did take a while, but we're getting rid of Walt Frazier for Kemba Walker and Michael Kidd Giltrist. Uh, no, no, I'm just, no. <laughs> just, uh, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, <laughs> just no. And what's interesting is now we can't add any more players to the trade block because they've already, they got to be with us for like 60 days I think. And most of the team. I just realized Mello has a no trade clause, so he's probably saying no to everything. Let's go see if Patrick Ewan wants to resign. He's still undecided. That it's <laughs> it's getting a little annoying. Just saying, since we lost Walt Frazier, we've lost three games in a row. So was he really doing that good? The, well, he's, he's an all-star. Yeah, Patrick Ewan's up for MVP. <laughs> so LeBron James gets MVP. Ben Simmons gets Rookie of the Year. Brandon Knight once always gets Sixth Man. LeBron gets Defensive Player of the Year. CJ McCollum getting Most Improved Player. Steve Kerr getting Coach of the Year. And here's the All-NBA teams. Walt Frazier got All-NBA second. Um, All-Defensive first as well. Alright, so, yeah. <laughs> and we're up against him in the first round. <laughs> Fuck yeah, of course we are. Uh, Alright, let's go have a look at uh, how our team did. Uh, so Kemba got 20 points, Mello got 16. Um, we don't have Patrick Ewing for that, so that's going to be annoying. Um, so I've got our roster going into the game. It's decent. It's a pretty good roster. I'm surprised we're starting Wilson Chandler over Michael Kidd, but I mean, what you gonna do? So we'll simulate the playoffs. All right, we beat. Uh, uh, yep. Okay. Then we're eliminated to the Pacers. <laughs> and Golden State to win the championship. All right. So we don't have. All right. Let's look at player retirements. Uh, oh, really? That's all. <laughs> Anyone on Hall of Fame? Paul Pierce. Alright, seems about right. So I'll look at the league, league meetings, see if anything is interesting in here. Uh, oh, should we change the shot clock to 30? Fuck it, why not? <laughs> so I'll look at the draft lottery because we do have a couple picks. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> well, we... Well, we got the 29th pick. Man, that sucks. Alright, so we're not gonna bother with the draft. Ah, <laughs> oh, why, why did the Kings have to do that to me, man? <laughs> Good God, we had a lot more picks than I originally thought. No, oh, it's... Bloody fish smash on the keyboard guy. Um, I mean, I, I sh yeah, sure. Just, all right, team player options. Well, yes, we'll bring back Nurkic. Oh, Kevin Durant. It doesn't matter because we're so far under the cap. It is quite unbelievable. Uh, Mello's up for a player option. Um, no, no, he's not. That's next year. <laughs> Alright, we've extended a qualifying offer, we're not going to extend one to Tony Snell because, well, you know, what's the point? Uh, should we send one to Bo Bojan? Let's see what he wants first. One million? I can do that for you. Um, Alright, just go to the free agency. Uh, yo, Kevin Durant! Doesn't matter, because we can't get him. And Chef Curry. <laughs> well, this is probably the best. <laughs> I just love it. The best free agencies are the ones I can never do anything in. 
I mean, the main... Can we... <laughs> oh, we lost Patrick Ewing for nothing. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, man, now I actually have to go and do stuff in the free agency. Alright, so I've decided that I get to make, that I'm allowed to make trades in the offseason because... The amount of small forwards we have is quite fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm going to be trading a few of these away because we just don't need all of these. So we're going to be taking this trade. We're going to be trading Michael Kidd as well as Wilson Chandler for Kevin Love. The reason why I'm trading Ke for this is because we desperately need a power forward. And Kevin Love fits the bill quite nicely. So if we go, go to this, we now have Kevin Love as our starting power forward. So we're going to see if we can pull off this trade. We're going to try and trade away our our first round pick for Sacramen from the Kings for Jimmy Butler. I've also thrown in Chris Middleton as well as Tarion Prince in order just to, well, just, you know, just even out the cap. The reason why I'm doing this is because, yes, I can wait till next season to get a really good draft pick. But the game will probably just have me trade that player away anyway. So see if we can do this. All right, so we have Jimmy Butler now. So... Next season got a whole lot more interesting on players that we're gonna lose. <laughs> but our our starting four, a starting five. It's good. It's like the real life Knicks. It's good. But the bench is eh, which the next bench that's been doing okay lately. They've been they've been putting up work. I told you Hernan Gomez was the goat. <laughs> He made Dwight look like his bitching against the Hawks. It was, it was quite it was quite funny to watch, actually. Alright, so the good news is we don't have to put up uh, Kevin Love or or Jimmy because they haven't been with us for that long. So that's the only good news about this. But apart from that, everyone's probably going to get traded away. And speaking of, we're not even a week into it. <laughs> This trade is just so bad. Uh, Alright, so we don't have a point guard. I think Delhi. Yep, Delhi's our starting point guard now. It went from one of the best to now just, just awful. <laughs> Alright, I really don't see the point in this trade, but we're getting rid of Dwight for Al Horford. I really don't see why. I mean, uh, sure. I, I, I really don't see the point in that. I would just like to bring this trade up. This is probably the worst trade. This is probably worse. No, this is worse than the James Harding trade. Just, just why? Oh, man. <laughs> What's stupid is he's not even on the trade block, and they still offer this shit. <laughs> and what's great is we're already 14 and 15, so we're just gonna get worse. <laughs> and Kevin Love's injured from fucking food poisoning. Look at our roster. We had one of the best rosters. Now it's just now it's just garbage. <laughs> Once again, another garbage trade. We're getting rid of Al Horford, our best center, for Oladipo and Cameron Payne. I mean, to be fair, they're probably upgrades compared to what we have anyway. So, yeah, they're straight into the starting. But, I mean, that's just no. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so Chef Curry got MVP, Markel Flutz. Yep. He gets Rookie of the Year, Jokic gets Sick Man, and Lee Davis gets Defensive Player of the Year, and Alex Len gets Most Improved Player. So we didn't even make the playoffs! <laughs> we went from the 1st seed to the 11th! And now the Hornets are first with... Look at that roster! They took two of our best players! 
Um, let, let's just see where how far they go. Ah, they didn't even make it to the conference finals. And the Spurs and the all right, the Spurs. Wow, Denver knocked out the Warriors. Oh fuck! Did that happen? <laughs> Alright, so this is where I'm going to stop, because the moment we don't make the playoffs is when it's just going going to go even more downhill. Um, so yeah, we started with probably the best starting five alongside the Warriors, and ended up with this. <laughs> Everyone's on minus two or minus one. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.